next year we bring two soaps and shit. <laughs> My name's Cheshire Mayerson, and this is the Wild Edibles booth at Oregon Country Fair. Oh, this booth, I think, was started pretty early on in the fair, and it was originally part of this self-sufficiency movement that was happening, and the concept of the booth was local plants that you can eat and use as medicine so that you're not dependent on a doctor and you can take care of yourself. And at first there were a lot of seaweeds and other things in the booth and now it's really evolved to plants and we focus on things that are collected within 10 to 20 miles of the Oregon Country Fair and most of these plants occur at the fair or nearby. So, and the booth has grown from probably just two or three people to about 10 people now and it's, it's quite dynamic and our display has gotten pretty big. Here's a few of the plants of our display. And I'll just talk about them. This is showy milkweed, which is one of my favorites. It has flowers that kind of look like aliens. It's something that grows all across the United States. And all, it's edible in all its parts, but it's kind of bitter, so you have to change the water. But the thing I like to make is I take these little flower buds like this and add them to sauerkraut when I'm making it, and they end up tasting like capers. So that's pretty. That's a really fun plant. Another plant that I regard as one of the medicine chests of our local flora is an introduced species. It's common St. John's wort. It's originally from Europe, and this is you can a really strong psychotropic plant in the sense that you can use this to treat mental illnesses. And it has a long history of use, and it has been medically validated in a number of studies. So you take the flowers, you tincture them, i.e. soak them in alcohol, it would turn a beautiful color, and then you'll take that in the winter when you're unhappy, and it will make you feel much less unhappy. So that's one of my favorites. It's a great anti-inflammatory. It makes all kinds of wonderful things. Another kind of all-purpose plant here is yarrow. And yarrow is something that, it, this is Achillea millifolia, and it's traditionally used for treating fevers, coughs, cold, and it's mild enough you can give it to small children. And it's one of these plants that everybody seems to know. It's a great one. Another plant that's gained lots of medical validation is this, feverfew. It's really gaining a lot of popularity in medical circles to treat migraines. And migraine headaches tend to be very difficult to treat and people tend to treat them with nasty hard drugs. But this plant, you can um, make a tea of it, you can tincture it, and or you can extract some of the uh, volatile substances out of it. and use it to treat migraine. It's the kind of thing you use on a long-term continual basis and it reduces the incidence of migraine. So that's become a really important plant medicinally. And then I think I'll talk about just one more. Another one of my medicine chest plant is this, Oregon grape. Grows all over Oregon, has roots that are the part, the active part that's used, and it contains berberin which is a yellow substance, and every culture on the planet uses plants that contain berberin. It's like the universal human medicine. And you uh, extract the berberin either using alcohol or just as a tea. It's very, very bitter, and bitter things are really good for your digestion. And it's a great anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. It's like the all-purpose medicine, both internally and externally. So at Wild Edibles, we do plant walks twice a day at 1 and 3 p.m. And depending on who leads the walk, we either go out in the woods around Community Village or we just do, if it, the paths are really crowded, we do a nice little walk and talk about the plants in the booth. And we're also moving towards doing some more talks in the booth. So just watch the schedule throughout the uh, at the watch the community village schedule of walks and talks and come see us so once again we're here at wild edibles which is in community village at the heart of 
the Oregon Country Fair, and Community Village is the one of the nonprofit portions of the Oregon Country Fair. So if you come into uh, the Community Village, walk into this cool, beautiful, floral back corner, come and talk to us. We love to talk plants.